Attorney L. Reed Bloodworth is the managing partner of Bloodworth Law PLLC with offices in Orlando, Florida and Winter Haven, Florida. Bloodworth Law handles a range of probate and estate litigation for plaintiffs or defendants who need help sorting legal issues. For example, how does a beneficiary get needed probate paperwork? Bloodworth Law works with beneficiaries during the probate process who want to be provided with paperwork. Likewise, Bloodworth Law works with personal representatives who need help navigating the responsibilities involved in estates and wills. A common question surrounds what to do when paperwork is needed during probate. As a beneficiary in Florida, beneficiaries have rights which include the right to a copy of the will, a right to know debts the estate holds, a right to know how estate debts will be paid, the right to an inventory of estate assets, the right to a copy of the estate's tax return, a right to request information throughout the course of the probate. But sometimes paperwork is not forthcoming, so it's important to talk with a probate or estate litigation attorney who will inform you of dates, roles, and how to obtain answers to your questions according to Florida law. A first probate deadline requires personal representatives to file the will with the court within 10 days of being notified of a decedent's death. A personal representative has no power to act on behalf of the estate until the court accepts the will and issues letters of administration. Each beneficiary of a probate estate has the right to receive an estate accounting to value and inventory probate assets and request how asset values were decided. The personal representative is required to provide a final accounting of all transactions during probate estate administration. Florida probate rules establish format of a probate accounting. A beneficiary can petition the probate court to require a personal representative to file an interim accounting. A beneficiary can receive a copy of a decedent's will after it has been filed with the probate court of the county the decedent lived in. The court will make it public record. To obtain a will, you'll need the probate court file number. The personal representative can give you this information. You may also access the file number by phone, online, or in person at the courthouse where the will was filed by providing the decedent's name and date of passing. Some courts have an online docket you can search by name. Or you can go to the courthouse with the file number and ask a court clerk to see the file. Getting a copy of a will may be done for the cost of a copying fee. Some courts will also provide you with a copy by fax or mail of a will on file. A certified copy of will is a document that has been stamped and certified by the court to be an exact copy of the original document. There are many questions that beneficiaries and personal representatives will have during probate surrounding paperwork needed. If you have questions about how to receive paperwork as a beneficiary or are having problems during the probate process, talk with an experienced probate or estate litigation attorney. Attorney L. Reed Bloodworth is the managing partner of Bloodworth Law and handles probate and estate litigation issues. Give Reed a call to find out how Bloodworth Law can help you or your family through the probate process.